O relație abandonată timp de 8 ani este reluată. Uniunea Europeană își reîndreaptă privirea spre America Latină și zona Caraibilor și vrea o reîmprospătare a legăturilor în domenii esențiale. Doar că, după atâta timp, lucrurile merg cu hopuri. Recentul summit dintre Uniunea Europeană și CELAC, adică țările din regiunile menționate, a avut concluzii bune în privința agriculturii, energiei și digitalizării. Ce nu au reușit să facă însă europenii a fost să schimbe perspectiva partenerilor din America Latină asupra războiului pe care Rusia l-a început în Ucraina. Argentina este a doua cea mai mare economie de pe continentul sud-american. Un reprezentant al politicii externe de la Buenos Aires a venit la București să descopere oportunitățile de colaborare. Le discutăm imediat. Sunt Cristina Cileacu, începe Pașaport Diplomatic. Claudio Rosenweig, Under Secretary for Foreign Policy of Argentina. Welcome to Diplomatic Passport. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here and to participate in this program. Crizele economice puternice nu sunt o noutate pentru Argentina. După numeroase probleme cu banii încă din 1950, în prezent a doua cea mai puternică economie din America de Sud a ajuns la inflație de peste 100% și nu are prea mult acces la capital străin. La toate acestea se adaugă și o datorie externă uriașă. Fondul Monetar Internațional discută deja cu argentinienii despre un nou împrumut, dar nu va fi suficient. Argentina are nevoie de prieteni noi. Argentinians are, uh, are rare in Bucharest in, in terms of official visit. In order for the Romanian public to have a, a better view of uh, your country, let's start first with the context uh, inside the country, because it's a saying, in order to have a good foreign policy, you have to have a, a good uh, a domestic policy. And right now, uh, Argentina is passing through a, a very uh, difficult uh, economical crisis. Who is helping you to solve the situation. You know, uh, after in this context of war, no, um, Argentina passed today with a, an important economic crisis um, with two elements, two important elements. The first of all is inflation, but this is not related only with the war in Ukraine also related with the structure of prices in Argentina is some problem that we have had uh, for the, yeah. yes, for yeah. the last decades. Uh, when, I, when I speak in about inflation, I speak about 100% of inflation on the year. No? And uh, the other problem is uh, related with the external debt. That is other problem that Argentina has had in the past, and now he has uh, uh, has uh, the same uh, problem with the huge debt uh, from the IFM. So we are dealing about this, and our government is trying to uh, speaking about the IFM, IFM. So what the possibilities to uh, renegotiate this debt and to per so as to permit. The growth of the country and pay this debt. Lipsurile economice și viața grea nu au scos populația argentine în stradă. Cumva oamenii s-au obișnuit ca economia țării să aibă probleme. Doar că mai sunt patru luni până la alegeri și, bineînțeles, partidele populiste, la fel de lipsite de soluții cum sunt în toată lumea, profită de situație ca să pună mâna pe putere. Usually when an economy is not doing well, populism is growing. That's a, a theory that works everywhere in the planet. Uh, uh, is the same case in Argentina. Since this year is also an electoral year for your country, how is this situation uh, going uh, to develop? Yes, um, we have a, an election, a, a a lot, because I say a lot of election this year, yeah, because true. it's a federal country. Yeah. And in a federal country you have provinces elections, after we have a internal election for the parties, but in our system these internal elections are open, so all the people could uh, vote. Uh, vote. After we have the first round that is in October, and the second round that will be in November. So we have all the electoral uh, year, Yes, the economy uh, will be one of the most important topics about the election, in the election, 
But there are some other topics related to the uh, development, uh, poverty that is related with the economy, and uh, it will be, it's, the, the, the pools are very open now. Uh, we don't know um, very well we, which will be next government. There are two coalitions, one coalition that is in the government, uh, that is the central left, other coalition for the central right, and there are some new forces for, for the far right that it's something new in Argentina, because in Argentina, uh, Argentina is a country that in the last year was a country in the center, no, uh, center left or center right, but not far right. Far right was at the, uh, at the time of uh, the dictatorship, no, uh, 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. Agricultura argentinei este valoroasă nu doar pentru consumul intern. Se regăsește în top 10 mondial pentru multe produse, de la cereale, fructe și legume, până la animale, bumbac și tutun. Principalul export al țării se bazează pe grâu, porumb și soia. Din această activitate rezultă bani, locuri de muncă și creștere în general. Doar că pe lângă inflația prea mare, argentinienii au de luptat și cu cea mai puternică secetă din ultimii 60 de ani. One thing that is actually very well known uh, in Romania about your country is the fact that uh, Argentina has one of the fertile soils in the world, so it's a big uh, agriculture producer, uh, but of course uh, drought is also affecting uh, your, uh, your crops and your productions. What will mean for the rest of the world um, less agriculture productions Uh, from Argentina. You know, Argentina is one of the most important global players in, in food, uh, not only in agriculture, but also in fisheries so, uh, in, 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 uh, and, in, and also in, in other materials of uh, minerals and lithium, lithium and energy yeah. and yeah. gas, uh, etc. So when we speak about draw and about Uh, the problems that this, uh, uh, this uh, produce in the agriculture. Uh, this is an important uh, uh, problem, not only for Argentina, but also for the world, because Argentina is one of the most important furniture of commodities, uh, not only in Europe, soil and, 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 and other grains, but also in, in, in other countries as Middle East or uh, some countries in, Af in North Africa. So this could hurt, uh, could hit the, 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 the food security in some countries. On the other hand, yes, we, we have had this problem this year, but I can say that Argentina um, nowadays is a, a, One country that uh, could be and uh, will be uh, one of the most important producers of food and energy because uh, we are we are working about gas and we are working about uh, lithium and we are working about nuclear and we are working about hydrogen. Mm -hmm. So Argentina will be an important player in the far coming years mm -hmm. uh, regarding food security and energy. That is the most important problem that we have during the war in Ukraine, but also after the war in Ukraine. Uniunea Europeană vrea reluarea legăturilor puternice pe care le-a avut cu America Latină, un nou început pentru o prietenie veche, cum a spus președinta Comisiei Europene, Ursula von der Leyen. Reuniunile Uniunea Europeană, CELAC, Comunitatea Statelor din America Latină și Caraibe, au fost reluate după 8 ani de dispariție. Valorile pe care țările de pe cele două continente le împărtășesc sunt asemănătoare. Lipsa implicării europene în regiune a dus la apariția unor noi actori și asta se vede cel mai bine în felul în care America Latină Latina, vede războiul rușilor din Ucraina. Federația Rusă are legături cu multe din aceste state și, ca atare, declarația finală a summitului Uniunea Europeană CELAC nu menționează deloc Rusia, doar exprimă profunda îngrijorare cu privire la războiul în curs de desfășurare împotriva Ucrainei. Dincolo de acest aspect, deciziile economice luate sunt cele așteptate. The President of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, uh, visited Buenos Aires. Uh, this relationship was, um, let's say, somehow not put on hold, but a little bit colder in the last years. Is getting hotter right now. What was the, the cause of this uh, 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 break? Uh, Ursula von der Leyen was in Buenos Aires. I was in a meeting with, uh, with her. Um, 
Yes, the relation is hotter, but the relation between Latin America and countries and uh, European Union start a lot of years ago. Now, uh, with this geopolitical problem, the war in Ukraine and the war in, in Europe, I can say that the geopolitical context has changed. So the eyes from this, from, uh, the, the, that uh, well, was before. To, the, to, to the east, they are going to the west and the West is Latin America, and there are a lot of interest when we speak about food, and we will speak about food security, and we will speak about problem of energy, not only lithium, gas, petroleum, so on. There are a huge interest in Latin America uh, from the European country, from the European Commission. And let me say that last year, for example, we host in Buenos Aires the summit uh, Argentina was the president of CELAC, CELAC Latin yeah. American yeah. countries, Caribbean and, countries. Uh, and um, with the European Union at the level of Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and now in Brussels, an important high-level meeting between uh, important high-level meeting at the level of presidents mm -hmm. of Latin America and the European Union, CELAC and, uh, and the European Union. So I think uh, the geopolitical context was changed, and the relations between. Uh, Argentina and the Latin America and the European Union will be hotter, will be more and more important, and the facts are there on the table. No? We have received, for example, on the last on the last month the visit, the, the last eight months the visit of uh, Charles Michel, the visit of Ursula von der Leyen, the visit of, of uh, Borrell. So uh, it's, 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 it's uh, all the leaders of European yes. Union. But when you look from Latin America, from Buenos Aires towards Europe, considering that, uh, uh, as you said, the world uh, geopolitical is shifting right now, yes. there are some new uh, rearranging of the of the powers. Uh, how is in Europe? I can say that Europe has some problems. The war is something that changed all the all the all the papers. The European Union and the countries in Europe they are changing their positions in, in, in the world, and this is and we we see Europe as a, a potential player in in economic and in commerce because for us for Argentina Europe was historically. A, a good player in, in, in commerce and economy, but an important player as a partner, a political partner, because as you know, Argentina in our case uh, has a great immigration from Europe, from some countries of Europe in the 19th and in the 20th century. So Argentina historically has uh, links. Uh, uh, links, important links with Europe, more than with states. As so, Argentina in the in, in, in last century was one of the the most important country with links with Europe, uh, political links. No? Argentina este atrăgătoare nu doar pentru Uniunea Europeană. Neimplicare activă, dincolo de investiții, care a lipsit în ultima vreme, a adus în prim plan alți actori interesați de ce are această țară de oferit. Chiar grupul BRICS, Brazilia, Rusia, India, China și Africa de Sud, este unul dintre pretendenții luați în seamă de argentinienii. There is this saying that because of the war in Ukraine, uh, the most important things right now uh, on the planet are energy and food. You say that Argentina will become a major player in both areas, but who is uh, investing in these areas, considering the situation of yes. economy, as we said, is not yes. a good one? Uh, yes, I can say, uh, there are, uh, for example, on the last year we have had an important political visit. Uh, the Councillor Scholz from Germany, mm -hmm. uh, last week Ursula von der Leyen was in Buenos Aires. We have had, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and our president was in Washington with the president Biden. There are some uh, companies, important companies from Canada that, that are interested and are investing in mining. They are very, very well known as, as companies in mining, the Canadian companies. The U.S. are investing in, 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 in lithium. Uh, the German companies are very interested and are investing in hydrogen. So 
uh, you, you can have, and in the USA companies are investing also in gas. So you have uh, the States, Canada, Germany, and there are some other countries, uh, Scandinavian countries, in the renewable energies. So there are a lot of uh, interest uh, and di there are a lot of di diversity, di diversification. No, there's not one country or one company that is investing. So we have a lot of players. Well, one bigger player is also China, because uh, you didn't mention it, but China is interested as well in, uh, in your country and has already a lot of investments there. Of course, lithium is uh, one resource that China is also um, willing to, to extract from your country. Besides that, it was even uh, an invitation that Argentina received uh, from the BRICS country to join the club. Uh, what kind of a partner is China for, for Argentina? But China is, uh, at the economic and commercial level, is, is an important country for us. China is very interested in infrastructure, more than in others, uh, for, for example, in mining. Belt and on, road, so yes. They are very well done and uh, they are very interested in infrastructure in Argentina. They are interested in some areas as nuclear or uh, other areas of special areas. Our commerce is very important because China is a, is a global player in trade and commerce. It's true that Argentina is uh, very interested in in BRICS uh, as other countries. Uh, Argentina is very interested in BRICS uh, as a group, a commercial group. So you so don't want to join the club to become one of the members? The, so they are interested in Argentina to join BRICS as a commercial uh, block uh, because uh, in the global south, uh, BRICS could be a, 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 a good instrument so as to sell and to buy uh, not only commodities but add, add value. So we are, um, we are speaking about BRICS and we, are, we, are, we, are, we have invited so, uh, not only China but Sa South Africa, mm -hmm. because the presidency of BRICS now, invited Argentina at some meetings and Argentina will be present at the meeting of, in August of the meeting of the BRICS, not as invited country. So Argentina is open for business to everyone? Argentina is, uh, yes, Argentina is a middle power on the south of the, of the world and Argentina is uh, always, not, not today, it was always a country open to, 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 to have business with, uh, with one, with other, with the other. Yeah. And will this, uh, I don't know, influence your uh, strong relationship with Washington or those relationships are not as strong uh, no, no, today? No, this not, this not, so, uh, we, we, know, we, know, we know that there's some tensions between Washington and Pekin, no? And this is true. Uh, but not influence our relation with Washington because uh, with Washington we have traditional relations, we share values, important values. Uh, we are speaking about uh, defense of human rights, democracy. So uh, Argentina, after 40 years, are uh, half a 30 years of democracy this year, 1983-2023, and we share a, a, a lot of value with the states, and we have uh, other business with the states in other uh, sectors. So uh, I cannot say that this influence uh, 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 our relation with China influence the problem, uh, the, the relation with the states. No, there are some there are different. It's, it's, there's some difference uh, between these. Two relations. So different approaches. Yes, different approaches. In Argentina sunt operaționale trei centrale nucleare. De altfel, a fost prima țară din America de Sud care a folosit acest tip de energie. În plus, experiența în domeniu îi permite nu doar să exporte, dar și să ofere soluții celor care au nevoie de ele. Regarding the nuclear uh, energy, because Argentina is also a good player, in, a big player in, in this field, uh, what is on the table? What shall we do together? Or... You know, yes, you know, Argentina is an important player in this sector, Argentina uh, built uh, in the reactors of research. Uh, it was the first country that built reactors of research in Algeria 40 years ago, but also won 
for the actors of research in the Netherlands or in Australia, so a, a, a high-level uh, industry, and the idea is to discuss with our counterparts the possibility to have uh, not only cooperation but to have business with the Romanian sector. We know that there are other players, important players, but Argentina, as I told you, Netherlands, uh, Australia, other countries, is an important player in this sector, and we can have a lot. We have also as you know, the Director General of the IEA, Ambassador Rafael Grossi, that was very important in the war of Ukraine and the problem of Saporizia, eh, eh, of Saporizia nuclear eh, 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 plant. plant. So, eh, eh, and this is other sector that we can cooperate a lot. And your visit in Romania, because as I said in the beginning of our discussion, it's uh, rare yes. uh, to see uh, Argentinian <laughs> officials in, in Bucharest. But my visit in Romania for political consultation is the follow-up of the visit of your president, because there are some uh, ways and some uh, possibilities in commerce, in nuclear, in cultural and in political ties that we should push. And my presence here, not only for the political consultation, but uh, for other meetings as in the parliament and uh, with the nuclear sector and with other uh, sectors, is the proof that the follow-up and the visit of your president was important. And again, it, will be, it must be interpreted in the new context, in the new geopolitical context of the war. Claudio Rosenweig, Undersecretary for uh, Foreign Affairs of Argentina. Thank you so much for this interview. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Atât pentru astăzi, dar rămânem în continuare online pe pagina de Facebook a emisiunii și pe contul nostru de Twitter. Revenim cu subiecte noi din lumea diplomației și a politicii externe, vinerea viitoare de la 11.30 și reloare sâmbătă după miezul nopții. La revedere!